the fence. Come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. Where your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And, and we, we would, would like to welcome you to come, come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Rivers of Life Christian Center, Wednesday evening words of encouragement. We thank God for you. We're praying for you. We cover your prayers. Pray for us. Pray for us. We need your prayers. Your prayers keep us going. Your prayers mean so much. And we thank you for when you make intercession for us. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Saints of the Most High God, remember, we are unified in the faith. We are one in Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. We love one another and we worship and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our head. We don't, we don't uh, uh, put each other down. We don't judge one another. We judge ourselves. We believe in, 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 in the Lord raising up the body. So, saints, let's remember, you know, Jesus is Lord. And Jesus is the one who makes us stand. And to him, we stand. Saints of the Most High God, um, you, I just can't say this enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for praying for Rivers of Life Christian Center. We are all one body, and we need one another. Saints, if you would, go with me to 1 Peter chapter 2. We're going to look at uh, we're going to look at verse 24. We're going to look at verse 24. If you would, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. And the Bible says this, and he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. For by his wounds, you were healed. And, and if you notice, the Bible says we were healed. So Jesus himself paid the penalty for sins. Our sins have been forgiven. We are not sinful. We are not those who, who are held in bondage or captivity or oppressed by sin. For Jesus himself bore our sins in his body on the cross. So our sins have been removed. Jesus atoned for our sins. And, and notice that, that we can be numb to sin. We can disassociate ourselves from sin. The Bible says so that we might die to sin or become numb to sin. Where sin does not have any effect on our lives in any way. So we are numb to sin, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. So in Jesus Christ himself is our righteousness, so we can live a life pleasing to God through Jesus Christ by his great sacrifice for us. So we, are, we have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And notice this, it's by Jesus' wounds we were healed, not by our own efforts, not by uh, all these things that, that are thrown at us. It's not the will of man, what it is, it's the working of Jesus on the cross. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross 
his wounds that he took in his body on the cross has healed us. Has healed us. And so we need to get, to get in agreement with Jesus Christ. We need to speak over our lives. He took, he himself bore my sin in his body on the cross that I might die to sin and live to righteousness. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus, by your wounds, I were healed. I was healed. It's a foregone conclusion. Sickness and disease be gone. If you need to be restored, be restored. Whatever it might be, uh, I mean, hearts be made whole. Every member, every cell in your body be in perfect health. Cancers, diabetes, uh, arthritis, all, every sickness and every disease be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. For by Jesus' wounds, we were healed. And saints, speak this over your life constantly and see the greatness of the atoning work of Jesus on the cross manifest in your life. Write us at www.realsoflife.com cc.com write us at www.riversoflifecc.com slash prayer hit the testimony button and testify about the great thing that the Lord Jesus Christ has done in your life saints if you would remember this Saints, we are in a warfare, and it's a warfare that we overwhelmingly conquer. Saints, the Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and for which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. And notice, saints, to this fight you were called, and you were called to glorify God. You were called to win. Saints, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. Again, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word. One more time. Read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word and the word will manifest in your life. Saints, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. Again, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. One more time. We must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. If we practice these, we will never stumble. Saints, we are in a warfare, but it's a warfare that we've already been ordained to overwhelmingly conquer. If you would, go with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. We're going to read verse 1 and 2. The Bible says this, Now I, Paul, myself, urge you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I who am meek when face to face with you, but bold towards you when absent. I ask that when I am present, I need not be bold with the confidence with which I propose to be courageous against some, 
who regard us as having walked according to the flesh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Saints of the Most High God, meekness, meekness is a tremendous weapon for the believer. Remember, our weapons is not this world system. And the thing about meekness or humility, meekness and humility can be interchanged. Uh, meekness is not weakness. Meekness denotes an uh, inward working of grace in the soul. Science, meekness is associated with self-control. Science, when you, when you can control yourself, you can tell your body to do whatever you desire it to do and it will obey. It's self-control. You and, and, and meekness and because of meekness, because of that, that which works a, a work of grace in the soul, it, 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 it destroys the work of the body working against you. See, the, the flesh wars against the soul. The flesh wars against the spirit. So it's time for you to take up that challenge and win this combat and win this, uh, th this fight. You do it by meekness. You do it by meekness. You see, by meekness, you make your body your slave. By meekness, you make your body an instrument of righteousness. And see, and, and, and when we can't control ourselves, that means that, that that lets us know that, okay, we're giving place to the wrong thing because meekness is greater than the body. Meekness is greater than all, the, than, than doubt. By meekness, we, we tell, we, we, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> By meekness, we, we make our bodies an instrument of righteousness by meekness. By meekness. We don't carry ourselves like the world. Our bodies is subject to the word of God. And when the soul is give, gives place to the word of God, it manifests in how you in your manner of life, how you carry yourself. See, meekness don't have to be heard. Meekness don't have to be applauded. Meekness controls self. Self. Is it a battle? Yes. Is it a battle we have? already won yes yes so never you know give place to the desires of the flesh never your meekness is greater far greater far greater so uh, <clears throat> meekness is entrusted uh, to the saint by the Lord Jesus Christ. Meekness is entrusted to the saint by the Lord Jesus Christ. Meekness, the Lord has, has delegated to us this, this, this part of our existence called meekness. The Lord has imparted to us meekness. Meekness, meekness, is, is, is a sign is assigned or delivered to the saint by Jesus Christ himself. See, see meekness is a part of, of, this, of this warfare that gives us a decided advantage 
over the flesh. It, it's not even close. So don't, don't be, listen, meekness, don't get offended at the word. Meekness obeys the word. See, meekness. This, this, this thing about controlling ourselves is a, is a large portion of, of walking in the greatness of God. Because the body is opposed to the spirit. And the spirit is opposed to the body. So, meekness is a fruit of power not of weakness. Meekness is a fruit of ability, not meekness. Meekness is a fruit of might. Meekness is a fruit of authority. Meekness obeys God and goes forth in the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ in the makeup of, of, of the believer. So meekness is not something that, that uh, just rolls over because of what it faces. Meekness stands up to what it faces and, man and magnifies the Lord. Meekness, meekness snuffs out the darkness and gives grace and manifests the grace of God. Meekness is a powerful weapon. A powerful weapon in our, in our arsenal. The, the Lord Jesus Christ manifested meekness by way of the, his, his, the life he lived. Notice Jesus never lost control of anything. Even when Jesus cleansed out, cleansed out the temple and drove the money changers out and so forth, it was all under control because the word of God inspired him to let him let us all know my my father's house should be a house of praise. And so, so meekness, Jesus, our, love, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, manifested meekness at all times. At all times. He always was con in control of self. Even on the cross, our Lord and Savior forgave those who crucified him. That's self-control, saints. Even when he was praying in the garden, our Lord and Savior uh, uh, gave place to our Heavenly Father and said, not my will, but your will be done. He did not say, if it be thy will. He says, not my will, but your will be done. Jesus knew that he was born to save us and accepted God's will. Meekness does not contend against God. Meekness does not make excuses to not accomplish God's will. See, Jesus had all of the resources of God. Jesus had this infinite resources of God, our Heavenly Father. And Jesus used this to accomplish our Heavenly Father's will. Guess what? Well, I don't have, you don't have to guess what I'll tell you. We use all of that God has, has, has imparted to us, this treasure that we have in this earthen vessel in the name and power of the Lord Jesus Christ to fulfill the will of the living God. Meekness. 
meekness denotes a, a inward working of grace in the soul. So we don't just go about doing any and everything. We, the meekness of God has occupied and overcome our self to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Look, saints, we're going to have to stop there. Amen? Um, Look, be sure, be sure to listen to our next Rivers of Life Christian Center Words of Encouragement. In the name of Jesus Christ, set a reminder that you not miss not one of these Rivers of Life Christian Center Words of Encouragement. My next invitation, now for those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, if that's you, please pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, Save me. Amen. My next invitation is for those of you who are apostate. Now, to live a life of willful disobedience to God is to be apostate because you know better. You know better. To live a life where you practice when you practice willful disobedience to God, it's to be apostate. You need to repent. You need to repent. And if that's you, please pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn from my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn to you. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess my sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are faithful and you are righteous to forgive me of my sins and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Amen. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. God is looking for willing vessels. God is looking for you and for me. Our goal is to win a million souls for the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's just the beginning. Listen to our podcast. Our podcast it's R-O-L-C-C-V-A. New podcast are Sunday and Wednesday, 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on X at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Follow us on Rumble at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Come to Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Good news is ministered at Rivers of Life Christian Center. Every believer should be in a church where Jesus Christ is exalted, where the Holy Spirit is in manifestation, where the word of God is ministered in power and without compromise. Every believer should be in a church like Rivers of Life Christian Center. Every believer includes you. Saints, it's time to come to church. 
service times are Sunday 10 a.m., Wednesday 6.30 p.m. Our Wednesday service is online until further notice. Explore our website. Our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. We encourage every believer to pray at a minimum one hour per day. We encourage you to go to our prayer page and fast and pray with us every month. Every month. Send us your prayer request. Let's join our faith together with yours. Let's agree together for signs, wonders, miracles, healings, confirmation of the word, great manifestations of the Holy Spirit in your life. Go to www.riversoflifecc.com slash prayer. We thank you for your bountiful and gracious giving. Go to www.riversoflifecc.com slash donate. We pray the fullness of God's grace abound towards you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Saints, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Saints, obey God and walk in the fullness of the blessing. Saints of the Most High God, I have good news for you. Grab hold of this with all of your heart and all of your faith. Something good is going to happen to you. This very hour, this very day, Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship at the rivers. Thank you for watching tonight's words of encouragement. Come worship at the rivers.